All right, everybody, welcome back to another x -Wall Gaming video. x -Wall here, and of course, we have that more gracious, good salt coming from those salt mines. We have another episode of the Salty Batch Files because the news doesn't stop rolling. The bad news doesn't stop rolling if you're an Xbox fanboy because not only has Helldivers taken over the world by storm, that's not good for them. Also, their games going to other platforms isn't good for them. Also, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth reviews came out. That is the second best rated Final Fantasy in existence right now. Uh, so they're just not having a good time. So we have a lot of stuff to divulge into. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump to it. All right, so like I was saying, what we do is we got a lot to go over, so I want to make sure you get to the goodness of this all, the meat of it. So let's start off here with Mr. Cold Eastwood. He likes to be a reoccurring subject matter on this channel, and here we have Final Fantasy VII isn't even close to one of the biggest games. Final Fantasy VII sold 7 million units. It's not one of the biggest games, and it's not multi-platform. In referencing the fact that Xbox is talking about the biggest games will be on all platforms. Why he's pulling out or pulling out Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth or even Remake or whatever he wants to make of anything. I don't know. Anything to flip that script to change that narrative because his brand that he shills for is just not doing well. So he's got to continue to shill. He's got to continue to lie. He's got to continue to sell that copium, as you can see down here below. That's what I love to see. That's what I love to hear from Mr. Cole Eastwood, who can't keep his lies straight in the first place. But let's continue nonetheless. Just Sam, when the Xbox social media account gave a clear answer better than all the Xbox gurus combined, he tags all of the Xbox individuals there, been investing in the brand since 2002, probably the biggest mistake I've ever done. Well done, guys. Um, <laughs> like it shows, Xbox, the biggest games will be more than just one platform, probably meaning themselves. And this is what Colt was referring to from before, but uh, obviously this guy's salty, tagging everybody, very upset, rightfully so, mind you. But yeah, this is, this is a lot of them. Some of them don't care and continue to shill for the company, such as Colt Eastwood and many others. Um, absolutely crazy. However... You know, let it be known. So I actually appreciate this post that we're sharing here. At least they're being forthright, forthcoming, all that stuff there. Let's continue. Blue Tent. Xbox treats its customers like shit in that regard, but it's nothing that's going to cause me to take action now. It's just pointing me to, well, next gen I'll buy a PS6. So this guy's kind of on the fence, right? A little salty, like, hey, they're going to push me towards another brand or platform, whether that be a PlayStation or PC. Um, but right now, it's not making him take action. Personally, personally, with the direction they're going, I mean, obviously, if you have the stuff already, you kind of ride it out, especially if you have Game Pass, no harm, no foul, right? Ride it out a little bit more, perhaps. Or you can cut your losses and go to a platform that's going to support all the games and the games you're going to have fun playing. But it is what it is, my guy. What can I say? You're doing the right thing by eventually moving on. But you might want to speed that up, just an FYI. Now, this is one of my greatest uh, ones that I saw recently from the Sea of Thieves official account and the devs. You can stop asking now. And, of course, they show a bunch of these um, pop-ups of people, you know, port begging or asking for this to be cross-platform and obviously brought to PlayStation um, in this regard. However, I have never heard of anybody personally asking for Sea of Thieves. It started off bland. It started off boring. It started off empty. Um, even to this day, a lot of folks are out there saying, it's all right. They've obviously done better, but it's, it's Sea of Thieves. It's, it's pretty mid, right? Um, but what I do like to see is Mr. Crap Gamer. The crap curse is real, if you're unfamiliar with that. Crap Gamer used to be a, you know, originally was an Xbox fanboy and then switched sides to PlayStation when he had enough. And then for whatever reason, he decided to flip back over to the uh, Xbox side of things. But whatever company he was shilling for at the time, they ended up having some rough patches and rough spots. Hence, the Crap Gamer curse did arise. So, um, but here he is stating, obviously, as you can see, Xbox uninstall Sea of Thieves. 
very salty, very upset the fact that it is coming to other platforms. This shouldn't be news. The four games were pretty much leaked and announced, even though Phil, the car used salesman at the latest Xbox podcast, was vague about announcing what games those were, but such a classy guy, just an FYI. Charlie Hustle. I think some of the reaction is seeing the studios rave about how excited they are to be going multi-plat. Understandable from a dev perspective and seeing physical releases Xbox couldn't be bothered to offer. Two games skipping Xbox. Being Xbox primary feels like a second rate experience. Well, Charlie, that's because it is. That's because you are treated like a second class citizen when it comes to you investing in that ecosystem and you putting that trust into that ecosystem. Why you're just now? Realizing this after 10 plus years, well over a decade, as well as the rest of the Xbox fanboys out there, I'm really confused on why you are shocked that this is going on. Nobody else is shocked with the right mind, but you. I can't believe this has happened. I feel like a second rate citizen. Interesting how you feel that way when you didn't feel that way 10 years ago. You didn't feel that way when the Xbox One was announced. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, TV, 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 Call of Duty, Sports, 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 Xbox will be the next water cooler. You didn't feel it then? I don't know what to tell you, folks. <laughs> let's, let's move on. The legal, this idiot. You can buy our leftovers. Tons of laughing emojis with crying tears. Xbox platform is the king of service games. Now, donkeys get out there and buy Sea of Thieves and Grounded. Y'all big supporters of the gaming industry, right? Hmm. Now it's leftovers. Now they don't care. However, if the script was reversed, then it wouldn't matter. Or then it would matter. Rather, to people like this, oh my gosh, you're finally porting over, what's what's something that's small that can come over, right? They like to make fun of timed third-party exclusives like Sifu and Stray. I can only imagine if it was a first-party game like Returnal or something heading over the Xbox franchise or ecosystem, right? What? Please. The amount of copium. And again, we're using Pal World to bolster their backbone because that is all they have. Pal World, a game that will be going to other platforms after early access, so keep riding that wave until it comes over. But by then, I'm sure it'll be leftovers, even though it's out of early access at that point, right, legal? Um, <laughs> let's keep going. Kareem Jovian, feels kind of embarrassing to be an Xbox fan today. Today? Embarrassing to be an Xbox fanboy today? Again, we can keep harking back to over a decade ago. I think it was embarrassing the moment that the Red Rings of Death started be started to be a, a problematic occurrence. That's to me, is when it was embarrassing to be an Xbox owner because I was an Xbox owner and a proud Xbox owner. But when that continued to happen, that was embarrassing. But now, now is when you draw the line. Kareem, is that because you just recently joined the Xbox Fraud Shill program? Because that's probably what happened. But let's continue with it. With all these games skipping Xbox and exclusives going multi-plat with no trade-off, all announced on the same day, why would there be a trade-off? Why would there be a trade-off? PlayStation doesn't need Xbox. Xbox needs PlayStation and Nintendo, as you can clearly see. Part of me wonders, is this how they were going to announce multi-plat games if the internet didn't implode, forcing them to have an Xbox business update? <laughs> uh, I don't know where you've been. For somebody that seems like they could have a few brain cells in your head, I don't know where you've been. This should not be a shock factor. This should not be coming out of left field. This should not be on Unsolved Mysteries. Where have you been? Oh, that's right. You just recently wrote in because your dying channel, with the many excuses that you had, whether it's true or not, you were looking to slide right in to the Xbox Fanboy Sheep Squad and knew you could get a following, and here you are. But now you're shocked because you just came in. Shilling. Of course you're shocked. You don't know any better. You didn't do your research. You did the wrong thing. You chose the wrong side of the console wars if that was your agenda, right? Let's keep going. Xbox Wire, of course, announced all the games coming out, right? The four games and where they're going and all that. So here we have Delphos. 
tagging Phil Spencer themselves. Everybody wins except Xbox players. Congrats. Well, at least you said something. At least you said something, Delphos. But uh, again, where are we at here? You knew it was happening. We all knew it was happening. You decided not to take that into consideration. Falls on deaf ears. But you're 100% right. Everybody does win except the Xbox players, because what's the point? I can't count. I've lost count on how many Xbox players, whether they jump ship to PlayStation or not, because Nintendo's just been that extra. Everybody has a Switch usually, or, or it's going to have that, or whatever the case is. But they had a choice. They either jump ship to PlayStation or PC. I've seen so many I've lost count. And that trend is going to continue. Whether you want to believe it or not, that trend is going to continue. But Delphos, at least you said something. I'll give you props there. Wario, of course, just mentioning Hi-Fi Rush coming to PS5. Here we have just checking in, stating, Shameful and a truly sad day. A failure from Xbox leadership. Tags everybody. Most people, the top three. Except for Satya. But we always got to leave Satya out of there, right? We as the Xbox community do not support this. Hmm... <laughs> Xbox customers deserve to have console exclusives from Xbox First Party Studios stay exclusive. A slap in the face, shaking my head. Uh, yeah, I'm just checking in with you, man. Are you all right? You doing okay? Didn't want to heed the words of all the data out there that's available to you via simple Google searches, via simple social media searches. Just checking in with you, man. I know you're salty, I know you're upset, and yeah, it stings, buddy. And yes, exclusives should stay. I had a conversation with somebody about exclusives recently on social media. They didn't understand it, thought it was unfair that there were exclusives. So I had to break down why there is exclusives. If you are out there, if you're watching this, and you want to break down on why exclusives matter, I'm more than happy to do a video, non-trolling, an honest-to-God, truthful video, on why exclusives matter, let me know. No down in the comments below. I apologize for my nose allergies or who knows if I'm getting sick at this point. I don't know. Anyways, moving on, we are going through a Hi-Fi Rush post, of course. Uh, and then we have Safi. I hope this game sells millions of PlayStation so the profits can go to getting even better games for us on Game Pass 4D chess move. Yes, because the 30% that Sony does get out of the 70 that you do get on the Xbox side of things is going to fund better games because that's what they're going to do. That was their 4D chess plan. Their ultimate master plan that they watched from Despicable Me or any other Pixar movie. Uh, this is definitely a 4D chess. No, give me a break, dude. If this is successful on other platforms, more successful, they're going to continue to do that. Especially the less that you guys buy on your Xbox platform and rely on Game Pass, the more those games are going to inch closer and closer to even day and date on other multi-platform games. But yes, 4D chess it is, buddy. Good job. <laughs> and then, of course, James Stock, Xbox, co Xbox Copium is this. Exactly that. Exactly that. So that is the ultimate copium, the ultimate salt there. That was just a few more examples. There's so much. And, I, and again, I'm trying to uh, keep the videos at two, two a week at, uh, you know, maximum, minimum, a work-life balance, work-life, family, all that stuff. So just so you all know, it's not lack of not wanting to. I think I put out a lot of content and I, I enjoy doing so. I enjoy doing these. It's just time is is very limited but i do want to squeeze these in and do my best that i can for y'all i'm glad you all enjoy thank you again we'll wrap up the video here of course um definitely definitely surprised at how we just keep growing i'm, I'm at a loss of words but anyways i don't want to ramble 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 but thank you again for all your support every like every comment helps out the algorithm so much so thank you for doing that if you do consider doing so and then also if you haven't already definitely consider subscribing and helping out a small content creator like myself helping push this channel even more i'd love to do even more for y'all trying my best so thanks again appreciate that uh that being said we'll wrap up this video here um and of course i just want you all to remember don't be a salty batch and we'll see y'all next time on the next X-Vault Gaming video. And until then, take care.